Hello, I am Pamela Gokidindor from the United States of America. I was born and raised in central United States in the state of Minnesota. Most of my influence are probably drawn from there, but I would have to say my primary influence in all of my creations has been color. I've been through several different careers. I started out in fashion and have been playing with colors and shapes ever since. I went through an interior design career phase and now I'm playing with colors and shapes when it comes to quilt fabrics and quilt construction. Uh, color has always been my driving force. It is the first story that I think of when I'm designing a quilt and it is the story that carries me through. Uh, I start out with certain uh, colors that evoke certain ideas and then evolve as I go along to create a quilt that is usually somewhat different than what I the idea that I start out with but in almost all cases something even better. One of my favorite inspirations and one of my favorite fabrics has always been stripes. Uh, those parallel lines where they differ in value or sometimes hue uh, or sometimes pattern um, evoke so many ideas in me right off the bat. Uh, they're very powerful in that they have so much potential. People are often intimidated by stripes because of that and because uh, they feel like they have to cut them a certain way. But I look at stripes as being full of potential, full of inspiration, uh, and they often are the dominant in the quilt, often they organize the quilt, um, and sometimes uh, they become a supportive quality to the quilt. Uh, but always they do the work of many fabrics. Um, I have my new book that I just published, influenced and dedicated to stripes only. Quilts in this will be made up of all stripes, some of stripes with uh, solid colors supporting them, uh, sometimes a few prints in along with the stripes, but primarily stripes. Um, one of the reasons people don't use stripes as often is they're not as easy to find as some of us would like. Uh, so there are, are various sources for stripes. There are quilt shops, um, there are uh, your own design stripes, there are also a source that I'm very fond of, which is thrift shops where you can find large men's shirts full of stripes waiting to be designed and uh, added, introduced to your favorite quilt pattern. Um, if you haven't already become obsessed with stripes, I think if you check out the quilts from this book, you certainly will get the invitation to delve into and experiment with them, and I'm sure that you will be rewarded.